the agritourism activities, are they aimed at a specific demographic, like families with young kids, or are there different activities aimed for different demographics? How do you, what's your approach to that? So it's actually kind of difficult for us because we don't want to get to the point where people feel like it's only catered to like younger children. Um, so we've been trying to uh, really monitor the things we add so that they can be fun for pretty much every single age, uh, you know, to have fun with. Uh, parents, we find, don't really want to like just watch their kids have fun, but to be able to allow them to be like part of the fun as well is something that we've really liked seeing and something that we want to really keep our eye on as we grow um, as a farm agritourism operation. So the you uh, uh, pick things, for example, that we want to offer, we find that that's a, that can cater to pretty much every single age group um, to really get uh, you know hands-on like picking experience is very fun and then we can add some other things that you know only cater to the kids only cater to the older um, folks who come out here but just to have that as kind of the like foundation of our festival events uh, really caters to everyone and something else too that we really keep in mind we're about 15 miles west of the like greater Indianapolis area and we've been seeing houses being built more and more this way they're really coming and we're seeing uh, like younger families moving out this way um, so a lot of what we're doing is we're trying to cater to the younger families because we want them to start the uh, family tradition of coming out you know uh, picking their pumpkin picking apples we've been seeing it a lot with the locals who have been here for years you know they come out every year to pick their pumpkin and we're just really trying to share that with some of the newer members of our town um, who are here and may not really know of us yet but to be able to, you know, tell them on their first visit that this is a place that you can come year after year is really something that we're trying to focus on. How do you see agritourism evolving? I guess I'm asking to give us a view inside your crystal ball of, uh, of how society is changing and whether you see the agritourism as a passing fad or do you see it getting stronger over time? What's your crystal ball on that looking forward? So we see agritourism getting much larger, stronger and larger. Uh, we also see people wanting to learn more about where their food is from. So um, knowledge is something that we're really trying to spread as we have all of uh, these like families coming out here to the farm. We really try to not only say, hey, this is a fun, you know, farm themed like park, but we really try to share the knowledge behind what they're looking at, where they are and what they're seeing and how it is grown and most importantly, why it is grown that way. Um, so we're really wanting to add knowledge into the agritourism arena, if you will. Um, and that's something that we really see as being a big wave as agritourism grows. Do you do school tours? Yeah, we actually do a lot of school tours. We probably have about like 7,000 school kids come through here every fall. Uh, this year we haven't had a lot of school tours sign up because the schools don't know what they're going to do you know yeah. after the summer comes back what the fall is going to look like with all the health concerns today but yeah uh, school tours are a very large thing for us um, you know we take them out to the farm we teach them you know how all the things grow pumpkins apples and sweet corn and things like that um, and it's really fun to hear you know people who also come with their kids on a school tour, they say, man, I haven't been here since I was a kid. Like, this place has really changed. This place has grown. And it's really fun to kind of use that, you know, to speak on how, what, on what we have done over the years to really kind of grow and really turn it into a place where someone who was here as a kid might want to come back and revisit as they're older to see not only what would be fun for their kids that they remember as being fun, but they'll also leave realizing that they found a lot of ways that they had fun as well. And, and so do, uh, to what extent do kids who come here on a school tour bring their families out the following weekend? And is there anything you do to try to encourage that, that, that to happen? Yeah, so, um, so all of the kids that come here, they'll either get to pick a pie pumpkin or they'll get to pick an apple. And then when they take it home, we like to send them home with, you know, a little card that says, uh, like, thank you for coming to Beasley's, uh, visit our market. These are the things that we have happening this fall. So we kind of like to add a little paper with them so that they can take them home. And then that like marketing effort 
makes it to home, whether it gets put on their fridge or you know what have you, it's just one more touch that the family as a whole can learn about the orchard rather than the kid going home and telling them everything.